The metallic chrome is strong on this one. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be looking at the Fans Toys FT58 Diverge, their version of the G1 Autobot Swerve. Let's get to it. Okay, so here he is, um, Fans Toys Diverge FD58 in his uh, red and white and glorious chrome legs and feet. <laughs> the chrome is strong on this guy. So yeah, um, I got mine from Omega Lock UK, so uh, go and check out their store. So yeah, because some people ask me, how come you got it so early? How come you got it so early? Yeah, look, I just got it, all right? So, you know, um, so yeah, so here it is. Anyway, um, so yeah, here he is. And um, let's check out the packaging, shall we? Right, so um, here we've got the um, lovely style of, art, of artwork from the same artist, um, Ionis Vinci uh, from IO Labs Studio. So go and check him out. So yeah, Diverge, FT58, Fans Toys, 2023, Diverge, same thing here, same thing here. You've got the alt mode on this side, Diverge, FT58, and you've got uh, the QR code right here. All right, and same thing here. And on the back, yeah, I've got the product shots and you can read the bio if you want to. So yeah, so with Variator, got Variator here, Rig, Tube, so that's some of their previous releases, the Alt Mode, which we'll get to a bit later, and the various uh, faces and helmets. Um, it uh, comes with a couple of other helmets. And yeah, and that's about it for the packaging, okay? Right, so, in terms of his height, he is five and a quarter inches, and his weight is 210 grams. Okay, so let's check out this guy's articulation, shall we? Let's have a look. Uh, let's start with his head. His head can go all the way around. Like so, yeah. And um, could look up that much, all right. And uh, what else have we got? His arms can come out all the way like that, and they can go all the way around. This it's on like a like a ball joint in here. Okay, so you can see that. All right. Okay, and that's mostly utilized in in the transformation. He has got bend of the elbow to like 90 degrees. Okay, wrists can go all the way around. Yeah. Four fingers um, that's molded together and that can rotate and the thumb is just static. It doesn't move at all. Nice ratcheted um, waist swivel. Gosh, that feels really nice. And, um, and he's got an up crunch. Nice little up crunch there. Hip skirt, it's got separate, separate hip skirt, so nobody should be complaining. <laughs> yeah, so here we got, got that. So his leg can come forward, like so, and uh, can go back like that, all right. And he has got thigh swivel. Did I say that this, the chrome on this guy is strong? Yeah, um, yeah it's just, it feels really cold, you know? Yeah, so yeah, obviously being die cast, feet die cast as well. And well, what, what else have we got? Knee bend only goes about that much, all right. And um, and he has got some a little bit of ankle tilt, okay. So if you were to give him an A start, uh, where it's completely flat, there you've got that about that much. So yeah, that's not too bad. Would have liked a bit more, but um, yeah, that's what we've got. All right. So no foot going forward, tilt forward, tilt down. Um, that's yeah, that's all he has there all right so that's your articulation all right as for accessories we have got his gun um we've got a couple of he helmets uh different helmets uh so it's one two three helmets and four faces all right um let's start with his gun 
So we've got this gun here, done this design and this kind of dark gray. Okay, and it's got like a little lip here, which will go into a slot in his hand and it rotates like so for the alt mode storage. All right, so I'm just gonna open his hand. Yeah, you can see there's like a slot in there and I just need to turn his hand like that because it'd be easier to try and slot it in. Yeah, so just put it in like so. It's a bit finicky to get it, it's a bit finicky to get it in as it goes. But, um, so, gosh, come on, get in, get in. Don't know why it's so hard to get in, but we will try. But either way, if it doesn't go, if it doesn't go in, you can just put it in like the best you can, and just close up his hand like that. All right, my wrist is a bit tight. I'm just going to turn his fist round like so. Yeah, and he holds that securely. All right. Okay, uh, what else we got? So we've got various faces. So um, we've got this one, all right, uh, where he's like smiling, like so, okay. And then we've got other faces like this one, uh, which is just kind of normal stoic looking face. All right, and um, and this helmet is, I think this is the toy version helmet. And um, the face is, um, it's got the divider that continues over his nose. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not separate eyes. So we've got that one. We have got um, another version of this helmet, um, but it's a darker red, uh, the same as his, as his arms. Yeah, so this one, it's got separate eyes and he's like, he's shouting. And we have got another kind of like normal face. Okay, but with, again with the separate eyes. And to change out the um, the face or the helmet, yeah, just, um, oops, let me just bring this up. So yeah, just bring his head up like so. Yeah, and just take, just take it off like that. Okay, as you can see, there's a, you know, it's a peg here, can go into this slot here. All right, and you could just slot on, slot on another one, like so. Just peg that in, like that, yeah. And then you have that going on. Or you can, um, to change out the face, yeah. Oh, you know what, let me put this one on, yeah, so you can see. So you got that one, all right. And then to change out his face, uh, come on, oh, let me just do it this way. Take this off. All right, so this one, you just all you have to do is just push the face off like so, and then that will, oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. That will come apart like that. Yeah, and then you could just put another one on like so. Come on, there you go. And then just slot that in. And then you've got that going on. All right. And there's your accessories. So here's what he looks like with Vance Toys Variator. Yeah, their version of, of Gears. And as you can see, there's quite a lot that's been changed. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's turn it this way. So you can see what's going on here, yeah. Both of them really lovely striking figures, I have to, I have to say. You know, I'm, I mean, I love this guy's paintwork. The blue is, is gorgeous on him. The red's nice. Um, whereas him, he's um, he's got nice red paintwork. I think it's similar to like the blue paintwork here. And this chrome. The chrome is strong with this guy, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, yeah, I just love this chrome that they've that they've gone with um, for their uh, for their swerve. All right, so yeah, so you got that going on. All right, and also um, let's bring up the team that uh, went toe to toe with. With Trypticon but failed. So we've got Fan Size Tube, we've got Fan Size Sheridan. Okay, so we've got these two going on here. 
We have got uh, who else? We've got we've got Ozzy, and we've got Dune Rider. Okay, let's try and get some more in, and we've got X Transports um, Hatch. I think that's his name, Hatch. Yeah, the verse the um, version of Tailgate. And we've got Takara's Bumblebee. So yeah, a whole team that went up against Trypticon and failed. <laughs> so yeah, there you have that. Alrighty, so let's get this guy transformed up, shall we? Um, guys, it's very easy. Yeah, uh, so this is gonna be kind of quick, all right? So um, let's, yeah, let's start here. Right, so, right, turn his head around, okay? Let's do that okay bring this bit up like so and then this little panel here just rotate that up and just bring it forward yeah like so okay and take these little panels here yeah and just flick those up straight like that and same thing here all right that's all done raise up the arms um underneath where is it here that's right so just here just take your finger bring this panel down rotate the hand in okay and close it up same thing on the other side rotate rotate hand in bring it back and that's and that's done okay and then from here what you want to do is just rotate this 90 as you can see it just yeah, it just lines up like that. Same thing here. Just rotate that like so. Okay, you got that. And then take this whole um, this whole section and just bring it back like that. This is just purely for clearance because it's going to go back in a moment. Okay, like so. And then take this bit uh, here. Just put your finger here and bring these vehicle side skirts out. Bring them. Oops. Bring it out. Yep, bring it out like that. And then just bring this back forward again. Forward, bring down like so. And then from here, you can just push these in. Okay, so just, you can see it's on this kind of uh, like hinge, hinge, yeah, like a double hinge like that. And just bring it in like so. Yeah, just, and just push it in. Yeah, make sure it fits in there like that. And just, that's it. Yeah, and there's like a, if you look very closely, there's a tab in between here, just squeeze it in. Actually, you know what? What I'll do, I'll do the other side as well, and then we can squeeze it all together. So I just make sure to get it in like so, and just squeeze. Done. Done. Okay. All right. And this is where we are. Yeah, all that is done. Okay, legs. Down here, the heels, flip them in like so. Okay, like that. And then um, just just put your nail in here and just undo this. Uh, it's, ta it's tabbed down here, yeah? And there's a tab that goes into the wheel here. So just take it apart, like that, there you go. And just bring this up like that, 90, and bring it up 90 degrees like so. Okay, do the same thing on the side. Just, oops, just bring this up. Yeah, uh, untab it here as well, like so. Let's bring it up, bring it to the side, and that's done. Now, let me just straighten out his feet. Um, what's next? So here, yeah, just wanna untab this, like so, okay. And just bring this down, bring this in, like so. Same thing here. Yeah, just untab, like so. Bring this down, bring this in, and you are done. All right. And then to finish off, what we're going to do is we're going to bend here um, at his waist. Just bend that there, just to bring it down, just for for the moment. And and uh, and what we're going to do is now fold this in, like so. Ah ha ha ha! Right, I knew there was something wrong. Okay, this. Yeah, keep this here. Keep these panels here, yeah, like that, okay? 
Now, just bring this whole thing around like so, okay? So it sits flush like that, okay? And then this bit, just bring up and around like so, okay? And you, see, you can see like that, there's, um, there's a couple of tabs here, just squeeze like that, all right? And then same thing on the other side. Yeah, just make sure these uh, these are out the way, cleared out the way. Just bring it round, like so. Oops. Oh, got ahead of myself. One little thing I've forgotten. Let me just um, come back here. See in here? Yeah, it's just on one side of the leg. Yeah, just put your nail, you can put your nail just like that. You see that? Just put your nail in and just bring this metal bit out. usually quite easy to do it does come out easily there you go yeah just bring it out yeah and yeah, you can see it's got a little groove so you can put your nail in and you can bring it out okay because that bit is going to go into that slot there all right and then just bring again just do the same thing just, just bring this over just make sure to get this around like so and get it flush like that okay and this back panel just bring it over Click it in, squeeze it in, like so, okay. And then uh, that little metal bit here, yeah, just bring it together and it, as you can see, right that section that's gonna come together like so, all right, so look, boom, done. All right, and if you see there's these uh, two tabs here, all right, it's gonna go in these two slots here. Right, now let me just tell you a little something. This was very tight to get into here. And um, I did it once on one side and it clicked in nicely, but I tried to get the other side to go in and it just wouldn't go in. Yeah, no, no matter how much I tried, I was like, eh. yeah, so I thought, no, 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 no. So what I did, I had to shave it a bit and um, and what I did, I had to, I took a pliers and I just squeezed it slightly on both sides. Yeah, and now it goes in there and it goes in, easily but mine was super tight to um to get on so so yeah guys uh just be a bit um just be a bit um mindful of that bit yeah so um so yeah that's it guys it's done done easy easy look doom, 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 doom. there you have it um fans toys uh, i was just about to say variator <laughs> not quite no fans toys diverge in his vehicle mode and yeah it's nice little vehicle mode rolls well lovely and um yeah let him let's put him on the turntable Okay, so just before we get to the comparisons, um, you can easily store his weapon. This is little hook here. We're just gonna put it in this little um, it's kind of tab bridge that bridges these two parts together. Okay, so you just take this and just plug it in like that. It should just, just get it just um, go in like that. Yep. It's clicked in like that and you can just angle this however you want all right and that's his weapon storage right there okay right now next um let's compare it to variator see here right and if i'm correct it looks he looks a bit bigger than Variator. So, you know, it's, um, they've got, you know, similarities in, you know, in, in um, certain parts and all that, but um, it is kind of a different design altogether, really. You know, um, I mean, even though they look similar, but, um, but yeah. yeah. So side view, back view. 
Yeah, you can see he's a bit, he's slightly bigger. I think the wheels are about the same size. But, um, but yeah, there you have that. And here they are in that, uh, that attack formation against Trypticon in that episode of Five Faces of Darkness. Yeah, so yeah, so you've got X Transports, um, Hatch, FT, Ozzy, Takara's Bumblebee, FT's Tube, and of course Diverge. Okay, so you have that. You know what? Let me just add a few more. Yeah, let's put, let's get you to the front like so. Uh, let's put you here. Let's just do a little re little rearrangement here. Put you here, put you here. Yeah, fine, so I definitely need to do uh, one of these <laughs> at some point. I'm gonna take him off. I'm gonna put uh, Sheridan and uh, Warpath, FT's Warpath, put that there. And yeah, and we need a Bumblebee as well. <laughs> Let's take him off. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there you go. Let's just arrange them up a bit. Yeah, but yeah. And there you have that. So there you have it, Fans Toys Diverge. Another great offering from the company. As usual, they are really knocking these mini bots out of the park. Painted well, nice and weighty, aesthetically pleasing. It's incredibly easy to transform. It is half the time of their variator. So as I have been joking about, the uh, crumb is strong on this uh, on this one. But in all seriousness, I think the crumb really suits it well and goes with the crumb rooms on the wheels. I don't have an MP Swerve, so this is a definite welcome addition to my collection. I know for some collectors, this figure may not be of interest to them as they are not really tied to the season three characters. And Swerve only seemed to have appeared in a couple of episodes of that season. So he's not that popular of a character. But he did have some notoriety in the IDW uh, comics though. So there you have it everyone. Looking forward to seeing what the next mini bot will be from Fans Toys. I think we can guess at this point that it probably be Wind Charger, then followed by Tailgate. It's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. So here we are, I'm gonna be signing off now. Thank you for joining me. As usual, if you like this video, give it a like, a share, a subscribe. Why not? And I'll see you next time.